All right, hi you guys. Let's go over our test prep number one for topic one. If you look at your worksheet, you should have a number one that looks like this. We're talking about exponential forms or ex exponents. Um, so looking at this, another way of saying, instead of saying six times six times six times six times six, we would just count one, two, three, four, five. So it's this number six repeated five times. So your answer would be C for number one. Going on to number two, they wanna know which expression shows the given expression when simplified. So that means you wanna look for numbers with like terms. So this is where we have our three, oops, so sorry, hold on. Our three x and minus our two x, which would give us one x. And then we have our, in blue, our nine minus five, which would give us four. So you could have it then say, because we're combining, you combine these two, and then combining these two. So our final answer could be one X or just X plus four, which is the same as X plus four. All right, going on to number three, which expression is equivalent, so equal or the same, to 4x plus 16. So you need to go through and think, what's another way I can say 4x plus 16? So this one, if we did the distributed property, it would be 4x plus, four, oops, sorry, four times four, which would be 16. So that would be it. But I, since it's my first one, I'm gonna keep going just to double check. So now I have my 3x plus my 5x, that would be 5x, and 11 plus 5 equals 16. So I'd eliminate that one, it's not going to be b, and then this next one would be with like terms, 5x minus 1x, so that would be 4x, and then I have 15 plus 1, which would equal 16 and this one says choose all equivalents so c would also work so i'm glad we didn't just stop at a and we kept going and then 4x looking for like terms 4x minus 1x would equal 3x so i know that wouldn't work just by starting that way so in the end for your answers you would have a as an answer and c because they want us to choose all of the equivalent it may not necessarily always just be one. All right, going on to number four. And before we go on to number four, the secret code is, or the secret password, I should say, Oregon. The state right above us, Oregon. All right, number four. Which of the following is equal, so there's the word equal, equal to nine times 12 minus nine times seven, and I believe this just wants us to think what would be another way to find out nine times 12. So I think this is just showing us distributive property. So if we were to have, since this has the parentheses, you would just do distributive nine times 12 and then nine times seven. So this one looks like it would work, but this one, let's see, nine times 12, but nine plus, there's that plus sign, so we needed the subtraction sign, not the plus sign. So B would not be it. And then the next one, let's see, five times nine equals 45, where we know that nine times 12, I go across nine plus one equals 10. So I'm looking for something that would equal pretty much 108 and then nine times 763. So I want a problem or an expression 
that equals the same as this bigger bottom, better borrow. Cross this out, make this a 10. So I would need something that equals 45 altogether. But this, if we look at C again, 9 times 5 equals 45. But then using distributed property, now my 5 goes to my 9 again. But that would be 45 minus 45, which equals 0. So that C is not going to work. And then same here, we have 12 times 9. Let's see if this works. Um, and then 12 times 7, which I think would be a larger number. So we know the 12 times 9, let's see, 12 times 9 would be the same as what we just did. So that's 108. But 12 times 7, that's going to be larger than 9 times 7. So D would not work. So here there's only one answer, and that answer, if we do it in green, that answer would be the A. All right, going on, two more. Number five, which shows the evaluated expression. So looking at how to break it down, we know that, let's see, if we were to rewrite this, we have, let me write in black, 2.5 or 2.5 plus 4 squared minus 5, parentheses plus 2. So I'm going to do my uh, parentheses first, just like in our PEMDAS. So I have my exponents, which we know we do first. So I'm going to rewrite this 2.5 plus, then 4 squared would be 4 times 4, which equals 16, minus 5 plus two, so then I do it my next step, I'm sorry. So now I do my two and a half. 16 minus five equals 11 plus two. So now I've solved the answer in the parentheses. And now I'm going to finish up by adding two plus five plus 11 plus two. So I'm going to start from this side, right side, to the left side. So 2 plus 5 plus 11, if you want to write it out, you can write it out. Just make sure to use your decimals the correct place. So 0 plus 5 equals 5. Bring down the decimal point. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 1 plus 0 equals 13. So now I just have 13 plus the 2 over here. So 2 so that would be 5, 5, bring down the decimal, 1. So my answer would be 15.5. And if you take a look, do, 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 up there. So there is my 15 and a half, or 15.5. So that was number 5. Last but not least, number 6. In a basketball game, a field goal scores two points and a free throw scores one point which expression can represent the total number of points scored by x field goals and y free throws so i'm going to be looking for let's see with let's see y x equals field goals and we know that one field goal equals two and then y equals free throws and I know that free throws equal one. So I could say a total, so I'm adding them all together, total would be like if someone did five field goals, that would be two times five. So that's the number of field goals plus however many free throws there are, that would just be my y because that's one point. So it would almost be like saying one Y, but remember, you don't always have to have the one. So two X plus, let me put the plus sign in a different color, plus one Y would be a way you could show the total amount that they scored the entire game. So it wouldn't be a subtraction. Uh, let's see. Which expression can represent the total number of points scored by X field goals and Y free throws? So the 2X 
plus the y would give us how much altogether. You could also, this would be 2x, I'm looking at d, I apologize, distributed property 2x and 2y. That wouldn't work out because it would be, needs to be a 1y. So that can't work out. And it can't be a 2y because x is the one that has the two points, not y. y would just be 1. All right, if you need to, go through it one more time um, and just make sure on the bottom you put whatever the secret word was. All right, thanks, you guys. Great, great job. Proud of you.